Hi there. Many others, like yourself, have asked us, what does the Bible say about pornography? Let's find out, shall we? You can discover this answer and more on gotquestions.org. By far, the most searched for terms on the internet are related to pornography. Pornography is rampant in the world today. Satan has succeeded in perverting God's gift of sex, perhaps more than any other of God's good gifts. Satan has taken what is good and right, loving sex between a husband and wife, and replaced it with lust, pornography, and other sins. Pornography can be the first step on a slippery slope of sexual addiction and ungodly desires. The addictive nature of pornography is well documented. The three main categories of sin are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Pornography causes users to lust after the flesh and it is undeniably a lust of the eyes. Viewing pornography is a sexual sin, but at its root, it is a heart problem. Not only is it a gratification of lust, but it also reveals a desire for validation outside of God. Viewing porn distorts one's view of self, offers counterfeit satisfaction, misrepresents the value of the opposite sex, and perverts God's good gift of sex. The negative impact pornography has on the brain, mental health, view of the opposite sex, emotional health, and the marriage relationship reveals the true nature of pornography. God alone can heal the heart affected by any hurt, trauma, or rejection. God alone can ultimately meet the desire to be fulfilled and validated, and only He can truly satisfy one's longings and desires. Pornography does not qualify as one of the things we are to think about, according to Philippians 4.8. Pornography is addictive, and we are not to be mastered by anything. Lusting in the mind, which is the essence of pornography, is offensive to God and destructive. For those involved in pornography, God can and will give the victory to those who seek Him. Are you involved with pornography and desire freedom from it? Here are some steps to victory. Confess your sin to God. Ask God to cleanse and renew and transform your mind. Ask God to fill your mind with things that are true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and commendable, and consume media that can be described that way. Ask God to reveal the void in your heart you are trying to fill with pornography and ask Him to help you find your satisfaction in Him. Learn to possess your body in holiness. Understand the proper meaning of sex and rely on your spouse alone to meet that need. Realize that if you walk in the Spirit, you will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Take practical steps to reduce your exposure to pornographic images. Install pornography blockers on your computer limit television and video usage, and find another Christian who will pray for you and help keep you accountable. In conclusion, you can find freedom from the bondage of pornography. God's plan for your life, including His design for your sexuality, is far better than anything sin entices you with. Alright, that answers your question, what does the Bible say about pornography?